My house is definitely a place where I can experiment, make mistakes. It's just my little laboratory to experiment with different things. We probably looked for only a month or so, and I think we only looked at like three apartments. I came and saw this one and I said, this is it. I immediately was drawn to the picture moldings and just all the detail that already came with this apartment. It didn't need a lot of work to make it feel like a home. And after living in sort of a string of white box rentals, this really felt warm and inviting and like a place that we could, you know, raise our children. So when we first moved in, my mom was basically like, why would you buy an apartment with an entryway that size? It is taking up like a large footprint of the apartment. And to me, that was a selling point because I just knew that we were gonna use it all the time. I mean, in the morning, my kids are getting dressed in there. In the evening, they're having relay races in there. Like, do my downstairs neighbors love me so much? I'm not sure about that. It's just, it gets utilized so much more than people really realize. Plus, when we have had a dinner party with some overflow, we can put the leaf in the table and move it out into the hall and have a dinner party in the hall. The previous owner actually put in these amazing built-ins, which we love and feel like are a great opportunity for us to showcase our collection of books, photos, and little trinkets that we collect. And the built-ins house kids toys all in the bottom part which is all closed up and that is how we sort of make it a adult space that functions for kids as well. Given that we're a young family I never want, wanted our home to feel too traditional and I think we've done that by injecting little modern elements in particular with the art. So we have some you know, striking modern pieces that are in this room that are a nice juxtaposition against some of the more traditional upholstery. It's always a mishmash of all the things that I like that somehow come together and make it work. I always feel like my style's evolving and I always wanna do things. I feel like there are five different iterations of the dining room that I could still do, but my husband won't let me. <laughs> We knew that we were having one child when we moved in and the apartment was very well set up for that. And now that we've had a second child, it has definitely started to feel a little bit tighter. My younger daughter is in a room that was originally called a maid's room, but it's super cozy and we really leaned into it by wallpapering it with this jungle theme. So even though it's small, it's a small but mighty room. The kids, always tell me that they're gonna be designers when they're older and I have this dream of having like a mother-daughter design firm, that would be the dream. And they definitely have watched me move things around and now they like to move things around in their own rooms, which is a blessing and a curse. I'm so glad to encourage that sense of design, but I've definitely lost some of the control of what they wear, what they want. You know, my older daughter, I gave her this beautiful blue room and she's like, mommy, I want my room to be pink now. And like, that's my nightmare. We definitely spend the most time in the kitchen. It is, you know, a place where my kids do arts and crafts projects. We eat most of our meals there when we're not entertaining and the snacks are there, so. <laughs> really nothing in our apartment is off limits to our children or to the dog. That's just not how we live. Like formality is not really part of my repertoire in design anyway and so they have free reign of the apartment. My favorite room is probably my bedroom. It's just like a place of zen where I can go at the end of the day. I'll dim the lights, it's just a little more quiet. And after looking at so many like prints and patterns during the day at work, it feels just like a nice relaxing place to unwind. I've had the privilege of working with some really amazing talents in the industry. I started out interning for Buddy Williams and then went on to work for Tom Scherer for about six and a half years and learned so much from both of them. I think that working for a mentor is incredibly important in this industry. And one of my big takeaways from Tom was if something works, it works and you don't need to reinvent the wheel. So 
I love like a camel velvet sofa and I'm not afraid to just keep repeating that over and over. Green and blue color palettes are in my wheelhouse so I don't need to reinvent the wheel, it's just this is what I feel comfortable with and I feel okay just sort of doing that over and over in my own home.